Hi there, this is DBRP number 15, and welcome back. Today's portions are Genesis 27, Job 15, and our second reading in Mark 9. Turning to Genesis 27, yesterday we read about the history of Isaac and Rebekah's family before the narrative focuses on their dissimilar twin sons, especially Jacob. Genesis 27 Esau was now old and had become blind. He sent for his older son, Esau, and said to him, Son, yes, he answered, You see that I am old and may die soon. Take your bow and arrows and go out into the country and kill an animal for me. Cook me some of that tasty food that I like and bring it to me. After I have eaten it, I will give you my final blessing before I die. While Isak was talking to Esau, Rebekah was listening. So when Esau went out to hunt, she said to Jacob, I have just heard your father say to Esau, Bring me an animal and cook it for me. After I have eaten it, I will give you my blessing in the presence of the Lord before I die. Now, son, listen to me and do what I say. Go to the flock and pick out two fat young goats so that I can cook them and make some of that food your father likes so much. You can take it to him to eat. He will give you his blessing before he dies. But Jacob said to his mother, You know that Esau is a hairy man, but I have smooth skin. Perhaps my father will touch me and find out that I am deceiving him. In this way I will bring a curse on myself instead of a blessing. His mother answered, Let any curse against you fall on me, my son. Just do as I say, and go and get the goats for me. So he went to get them, and brought them to her, and she cooked the kind of food that his father liked. Then she took Esau's best clothes, which she kept in the house, and put them on Jacob. She put the skins of the goats on his arms and on the hairless part of his neck. She handed him the tasty food along with the bread she had baked. Then Jacob went to his father and said, Father, yes, he answered, which of my sons are you? Jacob answered, I am your older son, Esau. I have done as you told me. Please sit up and eat some of the meat that I have brought for you, so that you can give me your blessing. Esau said, How did you find it so quickly, my son? Jacob answered, The Lord your God helped me find it. Esau said to Jacob, Please come closer so that I can touch you. Are you really Esau? Jacob moved closer to his father, who felt him and said, Your voice sounds like Jacob's voice, but your arms feel like Esau's arms. He did not recognize Jacob because his arms were hairy like Esau's. He was about to give him his blessing, but asked again, Are you really Esau? I am, he answered. Esau said, Bring me some of the meat. After I eat it, I will give you my blessing. Jacob brought it to him, and he also brought him some wine to drink. Then his father said, Come closer and kiss me, son. As he came up to kiss him, Esau smelled his clothes, so he gave him his blessing. He said, Ah, the pleasant smell of my son is like the smell of the field which the Lord has blessed. May God give you dew from heaven and make your fields fertile. May he give you plenty of grain and wine. May nations be your servants, and may peoples bow down before you. May you rule over all your relatives, and may your mother's descendants bow down before you. May those who curse you be cursed, and may those who bless you be blessed. Esau finished giving his blessing, and as soon as Jacob left, his brother Esau came in from hunting. He also cooked some tasty food and took it to his father. He said, Please, father, sit up and eat some of the meat that I have brought you, so that you can give me your blessing. Who are you? Esau asked. 
Your older son, Esau, he answered. Esau began to tremble and shake all over, and he asked, Who was it, then, who killed an animal and brought it to me? I ate it just before you came. I gave him my final blessing, and so it is his forever. When Esau heard this, he cried out loudly and bitterly and said, Give me your blessing also, father. Esau answered, Your brother came and deceived me. He has taken away your blessing. Esau said, This is the second time he has cheated me. No wonder his name is Jacob. Footnote. Jacob sounds like the Hebrew word for cheat. Esau continued, He took my rights as the firstborn son, and now he has taken away my blessing. Haven't you saved a blessing for me? Esau answered, I have already made him master over you, and I have made all his relatives his slaves. I have given him grain and wine. Now, son, there's nothing that I can do for you. Esau continued to plead with his father, Do you have only one blessing, father? Bless me too. He began to cry. Then Esau said to him, No dew from heaven for you, no fertile fields for you. You will live by your sword, but be your brother's slave. Yet when you rebel, you will break away from his control. Esau hated Jacob because his father had given Jacob the blessing. He thought, The time to mourn my father's death is near. Then I will kill Jacob. But when Rebekah heard about Esau's plan, she sent for Jacob and said, Listen, your brother Esau is planning to get even with you and kill you. Now, son, do what I say. Go at once to my brother Laban in Haran and stay with him for a while until your brother's anger cools down and he forgets what you have done to him. Then I will send someone to bring you back. Why should I lose both my sons on the same day? Rebekah said to Esau, I'm sick and tired of Esau's foreign wives. If Jacob also marries one of these Hittites, I might as well die. Let's turn now to Job 15. We know a lot more than Job did. One thing was shown yesterday. Job asked, If a man dies, can he come back to life? Job 15, the second dialogue begins, and Eliphaz speaks again. 